Hi everybody, welcome to another Wildlife Wednesday in collaboration with the Shogwanas Public Library. My name is Dr Amy Deacon, I'm a zoologist at the University of the West Indies at the Department of Life Sciences and last week I told you all about guppies, the Trinidadian guppy and how it's famous all around the world. Today I actually want to tell you about a different species of freshwater fish and that is the jumping wabin. Now the jumping wabin is a little bit bigger than a guppy, it's about this long and I actually have a picture of one here, not a photo this week but a painting. So you can see here it's quite colourful and this is a male because it has orange edges to the tail just here and here if you can just about see that. So the jumping wabin is a really amazing fish. It's found in many of the same places as guppies but it has a very special ability that you can probably guess from its name. Yes that's right it can jump and there are actually three different situations in which it uses its jumping. The first is if it's hungry and if it spots little insects that are on the overhanging vegetation above the stream the jumping wabin can actually jump completely out of the water to catch little ants or flies from the vegetation and then drop back into the water to eat it. Really amazing to see. The second way in which they jump is even more amazing. They actually flip um, over land, so say in the dry season they find themselves in a pool where the water is running out and it's getting drier and drier. They will then flip out of the pond, flip again and again and again until they find somewhere nice and wet where they can then live. This means that sometimes you can find jumping wabin in pools or puddles in the road that seem to be a long long way from a river and you wonder how did they get there and the answer is they jump there. The final way in which they jump is even more amazing, if you can believe it. They actually can jump up waterfalls. So in the, in the northern range, where we get these really, really big waterfalls, no other fish can get there because it's so high. But the jumping wabin is able to get above the waterfall and then it can live with no other predators or other, other fish. It can live there just by itself um, because it's able to jump, um, even up a vertical face of the waterfall, which is really incredible. Then one more fact to leave you with today is that the other thing that scientists have found out about jumping wabin is that they actually have something like a personality and you get certain individuals that are brave and bold and they tend to flip more and travel further from their home whereas there are others that are quite shy and prefer to stay in one place. Um, so luckily for jumping wabin they are not under lockdown like us and they, while we're stuck in our homes, they are continuing to jump around the northern range from river to river, across the land and up and down waterfalls. So just imagine that while we're um, managing to survive under lockdown conditions.